Okay, so this is the front of the lovely Days Inn. It's over by the Rosen Center. Um, it's got an interesting entry there. It looks like there actually can be, put like a key in there, I guess. Oops, why is this so zoomed in? Uh, Mom's on her way up. Cause I took the stairs. But, so basic. Um, it's got your classic table, your desk and chair. But yeah, look how high up this bed is. I mean, like, compared to my leg, I mean, it's right here. It's right up against my hip. And as I confirmed today at SeaWorld, I am 5'5". Five five. So, uh, yeah. These are tall, especially for people like my mom. Uh, I guess on there, there's, you know, basic fridge. Um, yeah. Of course, there's phone, remote, you know, oh, it's classic. Oh, my God. Boring. I mean, yay. Um, I need to say, I'm not impressed by this room at all. There's the safe. Here's the closet. Here. <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, there's that. Towels are up there. And then to get to the bathroom, you have to go actually on the other side of the bathroom door to get the lights. Never looked in here yet. Um, oddly enough, I've seen dirtier bathrooms at Universal, so all in all, the bathroom looks pretty good. Uh, oh, the one downside I noticed earlier, there is no tissues in this box. A little annoyed by that. Actually, a lot annoyed by that. Am I kidding? Uh, but yeah, so this is our little quaint room. Let's, let's, it's called quaint. Did you flip both the locks or just the chain? Yeah, so. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, microwave in our hotel room. And I, I, it looks rusted out back there. I mean, seriously? That, that cannot be safe. Like, for Rizzle? Ew. Oh, hey, hey Rosen Inn Shogun. Like, it's one of the hotels we stayed at previously. Their food truck is literally in front of us. Uh, ew, my leash. All right, guys, so we are headed to Universal. So we did things, a few things out of order. Let me flip this, you guys. See me. So we did a few things out of order. So we were going to go to Universal yesterday morning, but, or afternoon. We were gonna go to Universal before, we went to SeaWorld, but traffic was insane. So we end up going to the hotel, just to SeaWorld, and then we're gonna quickly go over to Universal right now, uh, do some cool things over there, then head straight over to Dino World. So much fun in one day, but hey, it's all Dino related. So, you know, I'm all safaried up and ready to uh, do this. But as yes, we're heading over there now, it's gonna be interesting because so we actually looked. Um, if you guys know, uh, Universal Studios is doing Epic Universe, and we actually looked at the map, and it's actually like right over here is where it's gonna be. So like we're not far from where Epic is going to be. So we're, we feel like we're taking the Epic tour because this is pretty much from where Epic and Universal, the path most of us will be taking once it comes open in like two years. So yeah, we're taking the Epic tour.
Bandora. And then over there we have uh, the, you name it, I'm not gonna, we're not getting that battle of, are they AT-ATs, are they AT-ATs? They're walkers, they're over there, they're walkers, that they're Karen and, and <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah, pretty much tourist world right here. By the way, that's already the second Walgreens on this strip. This is the bigger one, but there's one down the street too. Literally past two Walgreens. What? Public Starbucks, Walgreens. <laughs> yeah. And now we turn the corner to the. May turn left oh. now. Or we get caught in the traffic. But as I call it, the Doug Jones McDonald's. Because, yes, he is the famous um, Moonface character on the old McDonald's commercials. Mac tonight. Mac tonight, yes, and there is a replica of him. Up Care Rosen Hospital Hotel and Resorts Associate Health and Wellness. put him on shade uh the dude in this car over here just got out and ran off and i'm like where is he going right and he ran in front of us and he ran over to that tree over there and went behind it and then got back in his car and i'm like dude is he dude so we're so stuck in this traffic it's been yes yeah, several minutes by the way and uh yeah we've been stuck in traffic so long he totally got out and peed <laughs> that is so great i mean power to that dude but Wow, seriously. Yes, girls, yes, girls can't do that. But I just like, he got out and was like, what is he doing? Going for a run while we're waiting? And then I saw him go find the tree and stop. And I'm like, oh, is he doing what I think that he's doing? Right there. That guy right there. That's him. He's 
the pier. I'm like, did you sanitize your hands after that, sir? <laughs> All right, kids. I right, guess we are going to do a PSA. No matter what it is, whether it's a theme park line, grocery line, have yo shit ready. If you got an annual pass and get free parking, while you're stuck in this traffic, have it ready. Have your ID ready. If you're paying, have your debit card ready. But dear God, have it ready. I mean, we've moved quite a bit lately because we got some smart people up here. But it is amazing me how how little this line moves. So when you in any kind of line that requires action at the end of it, have it ready. Is it really that hard? I, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I mean, do you not know which park you're going to? Do you, do you not know, like, what, what, why? What's the holdup? What is the holdup? I, I do not get it. But yeah, y'all figure shit out. All right, guys. So, reminder. Um, I forgot, kind of forgot that um, there are certain blackout dates. And that certain passes have blackout dates. Some don't. And I forgot that mine don't have blackout dates, but mom's does for the month of July. So I've got to quickly now run over to the tribute store, get the things we want over there, head over to the pass holder lounge, get the stuff I need over there, and head out. Totally forgot that that was a thing here. Um, yeah, so that's when I got the thing at Simpsons I wanted to get. So this trip is going to be very, very quick. Okay, guys, so mission successful got the uh, m monthly button I wanted. I got a couple things up here, two of which, well, one of which I didn't even know they had yet. They haven't had it every time I've been there and it's finally there today. Plus exiting the tribute store, I ran into uh, Mr. Rick's Flix himself. So I was like, wait, that yellow shirt, I know that guy. And don't you know, he has a toy dinosaur too. I think he's trying to steal my gig, I don't know. I'm on to you, Mr. Cochran. But anyway, um, yeah, so we're heading out now trying to find mom somewhere at City Walk because, yeah, that was fun. But yeah, heading out now. Nice quick trip. Been <laughs> was in line to get inside longer than it took to actually be in the parks, but not too bad. Heading out and uh, on to Dinosaur World. All right, guys, so I really haven't shown you guys what I got over at uh, Universal. So, the, well, there's that big bag that's for somebody else. I'm not going to show that off. But they finally had the Dino Chow. You guys have probably seen my previous videos. That, like, Dino Chow. But what is it? Why don't they have it out yet? So, yes. um, I'll show the pictures here. Yes, yeah, cinnamon glaze. They've got cashews, almonds. And pecans. Yes, I said that weird, but I don't care. Uh, but yeah, so here they are. I'm going to read the nutritional facts on the cashews ones. Cashew sugar, natural flavors, cinnamon, and water. Oh my god, there's water in here? Ugh. Kidding. Uh, yes, yeah, so that that is what the dino chow is. Finally, we know what the dino chow is. And the main event what we really can there for. The item requested by my Velociraptor uh, yes, is the Jurassic uh, Dig in a Jar. So I think you guys can really see, oh, there we go. So there's like frosting, cake, frosting, cake. But as you can see, like right there, there are these little candy bones in there as well. So, yeah, and there's some on each layer. So, yes, and also, oh, there we go. You can guys see, like, right there. There's, whoa, there we go. See them right there. So, these are super cute. Um, we're about to find out how it tastes. In the ring of honor, All right. Celebration happens week two. Of course, this has also been sitting in the car for several hours. I don't know. Are you guys see? No. Yeah, it is like chocolate cake. But like the frosting though, it's actually kind of like more like um, kind of moussey kind of frosting. It's not a like, horribly sweet frosting. Not bad.
Um, it's a plastic jar, which is very good. It's plastic, not glass. 